My name is Ksenia Kiritschenko and I'm from the Russian LGBT network. Also, I represent uh, grassroots Novosibirsk organization Gender and Law. Uh, the Russian LGBT network is an interregional Russian organization, NGO, uh, working for uh, human rights regardless of sexual orientation, gender identity and gender expression. Now, of course, a huge, large campaign uh, against uh, this homophobic legislation, and we organized uh, flash mobs and public events in different cities, in cities which are at risk. The bill doesn't concern the human rights of the gay community. It deals solely with propaganda targeting minors. Propaganda is banned at the federal level, and we as a regional body are only working out how to deter against it. And also we, um, we are trying now to uh, create a network of experts, of um, researchers, professionals in different fields like psychology and sociology and legal studies, of course. And uh, we, we have, I think, about three dozens of different expert opinions against this law. And which sort of na quite naturally brings up the question of what do they even see as propaganda? Well, exactly, that's the thing. Is it yeah. writing a book, publishing an article, wearing a rainbow t-shirt, kissing your partner, holding hands? Uh, if I were to have a girlfriend and walk down the street holding her hand, would I be arrested for promoting a gay lifestyle? That is the slippery slope. I think that what is important here is um, informing people because uh, information is, uh, of course, it's a uh, uh, very important uh, source of power and in countries like Russia or China, people uh, often don't have uh, access to adequate information and therefore there are problems about propaganda, uh, anti-human rights propaganda, anti-gay propaganda and so on. And I think that if you can inform people about real situation, about different situations, about developments in different countries in the field of human rights, it would be really great and it, it can help, really help.